Well, hello everybody. This is the AMC V8 304. It's a five liter engine. We have all of the pistons installed. So obviously the camshaft and the crankshaft are also installed. Um, I just put in the timing sprockets and time the engine. So the purpose of this video is to talk about how to time the AMC 304. As you know, you have a timing mark on the camshaft gear. You have a timing mark on the crankshaft gear. And those must correspond to each other in certain ways. How to tell if your 304 is properly timed. You place your camshaft mark at the three o'clock and your crankshaft mark at the six o'clock. All right. Once you have those there and you install your chain, you count all the pins in between the two marks. Now you start at this one right here and you count down. So directly adjacent to the timing mark here is going to be a pin on the chain. I'll show you real quick. There's the mark. And directly adjacent to it is this pin. Okay, so you start at that pin and you count down. And there must be 20 pins for it to be properly timed. So I'm gonna start counting. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm at the mark. The mark must be in between the 20th and the 21st pins. You start here at the camshaft mark. Directly adjacent is a pin. You count down to the 20th pin, and then you should have the mark in between the 20th and the 21st. If you do that, according to the manual, you're timed. Of course, there's always checks that you can do. This is the check. You run your marks to point to each other, and they will line up if you're properly timed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The two marks, this guy and this guy, are lined up to each other. They point at each other. In addition to checking your timing with the chain and the timing marks, you can also just look at the camshaft lobes here in relation to the position of the piston. And that, my friends, is how you time the V8 304 AMC engine.